Today we return to the Dwarf Fortress Waterfall Fort. We tried a lot of ambitious ideas in part one. Uh, a lot of it fell apart, admittedly. Someone fell into the water. I'm just going to pause time for a second. You, you don't get the satisfaction of seeing the water rushing and the babbling of the brook. I like that personally, but I just don't want anything more to happen because now I am trying, albeit badly. Um, somebody fell into the waterfall, so we put a bunch of grates by the waterfall. All that blood and vomit and corpses down there. Yeah, that's the guy that fell down there. Uh, or woman, I think it was, which she then died in the hospital. Have we dug her up yet? No, this is somebody new, but we did create, like, catacombs down here. So, there she is, and we're getting more ready, because, well, more people are gonna die, probably. Uh, let's see. Somebody fell in the waterfall. We just have kind of done a scuffed cleanup and continuing to try out some interesting experiments for efficiency, practicing at getting a bit better at the game. This has been a more scuffed series than I thought it would be, and it will continue that way, and it's good fun. So, I mean, grab your popcorn. Uh, I will index this, though. I'm going to be keep continuing to learn the game alongside chat here. I am streaming this, uh, but I will section the VOD and edit out parts where I really face plant. But hopefully it'll be at least somewhat digestible. Just you're trying to keep your expectations low. But part one and two have been spaced out in streams because I got a massive cold and I took a big road trip. Uh, had the road trip and then I got sick and then now we're getting ready to stream again so it's just been a long time so I've spaced out these VODs but anyway possibly we're going to make a hist uh, horrific series of bafflingly obvious mistakes so just be ready to stop short but losing is fun and I've made a few changes uh, since episode one so let's explore the fort a bit we're here in the underground farms um, hopefully we'll, today, just, I'm gonna set out some goals, we might not get to them, let me just pause again. Okay, on my goal list is, uh, clean up our workflows a little bit, there were a few things I was missing, like, for example, we were accidentally here in our labors in the kitchen, we were cooking those plump helmets, which you know is not allowed, so we had to take that away. I know everyone gasped because that's such an obvious mistake, how could you make that a, a well, yes, even I, with my huge brain, made that mistake, so... Uh, be prepared for more. Anyway, we'll get some zones, offices, train our military, make some actual tools. I want to see if we can get, like, shovels going and stuff like that. Because another man drowned while I was... Uh, well, I'll explain this in a minute. But, uh, yeah, and maybe landscape the moat, because it doesn't seem like we got the perfect water flow right here. This is basically just a, a flood plain. Not really a flood plain, just a flooded area back here. But it's not quite deep enough to drown anyone who might invade us. So right, right now we're still not really totally safe. Um, and we have just sort of a mosaic of a floor. Everything is horribly disorganized. I've, I think I've done a very good job setting expectations low here, so I'm just going to continue with that. But uh, also too, before we begin, uh, I am using reduced fog Z levels, interface tweaks, and see-through smoothing. And it looks like another great mod just came out called 2.5D Perspective Walls, but I don't know how to add it to the save, and I just want to not mess stuff up. So we'll go with good old 2D graphics. Anyway, for right now, um, let's go ahead and see what's happened to our dwarves. Uh, we've got some fighting going on. This was somewhere else before, right? Oh, this was everything at the bottom of the waterfall, which we're just going to leave that. That's water under the bridge, pun intended. Uh, we've got lots of people coming in trying to entertain us, so we'll allow that. We're going to continue ignoring a lot of important information, though, just to keep kind of plugging away at the fort. Um, uh, let's see. Create a torso, dwarf. I'm going to stick with my main objectives. So let's just go over the fort. I did spend some time between episodes one and two. I filled out the wall a little bit more. Uh, we had had an issue there. I think part of it is made of wood, though. Oh, and so here was something interesting that I discovered. So, pretty much, we've got our dwarves. What are you doing? So, Shoras Zegustaf, Fisher Dwarf. So, he's fishing on the brooks. So, I didn't really notice this when we first built this fort. I should have built this fort differently, though. I would have channeled differently from this brook when I had first done it, because... People can just walk over the brook. It's a ford, basically, and they can cross over it, if you know what a ford is. I'm not talking about the cars, I'm talking about, you know, the thing that you walk across. So, I did this a little bit of in a, in a kind of a messed up way, but I had a guy try to... <laughs> Neil Ustuth Melbill had tried to channel out more of this brook to turn it into open water, um, which this is deadly. <laughs> Perhaps that's somewhat obvious now, uh, but... Yeah, there are spaces of brook here. I may take out the walls and then channel them, but it's just going to be kind of a project. So maybe we'll save that for later because I do want kind of a wide moat. But it did confirm me that I'm pretty safe with this body of water between me and any potential enemies. So 
in that I take some comfort. Of course, we will need to create ramparts and other stuff like that, but uh, what, uh, what I've mainly planned to do is let's get some shovels along here. When they do get time, they'll start to channel this out. And then we can just direct the brook this way, and then we can fix our mistakes over there. There's just a lot of issues with this fort now I'm seeing it. But, I mean, you know, differentiating every single tile, like how is this willow fruit? Okay, I guess that's the willow fruit showing up on the brook, but how is this different from this? I suppose these two are just slightly different appearances of brooks. But some of them are like what you see is what you get, and some of them are truly unique. So for me, I've been learning that. Although I think there's another mod that fills in the um, doubled over plant icons. And Oh my god, it's just such an overwhelming amount of information. It doesn't just turn into kind of verbal diarrhea the further we go in. But that's the beauty of being overwhelmed by Dwarf Fortress. And I just, I submit my entire, uh, I submit myself to Dwarf Fortress, that is to say. Okay, uh, we lost another person because that guy had drowned and someone else had fallen down the waterfall. What else did we do? I think the main thing that I worked on was just a little bit more carving out some of the, uh, the farm areas, potential farm areas in the future. We did have this area, which we weren't going to work on because of the water adjacency. But that's fine. We've got um, humans working for us, apparently. They're, uh, most of the time, they just seem to do the hauling. We've got plump helmets being planted in here. We've just got spawns for right now, so I think that's good enough. Um, not really very many of them, though. So they're, it's going to take some time to get this population of plump helmets back up to uh, what it could be. We're down to 55 drinks, though, and that's not really amazing. Uh, they may go low on drinks, in which case, you know, we just have some horrible population plateau. But however, that being said, I did start to differentiate our stockpiles so I could at least see what's out in front of me. So we've got like wood down here and I did the wood related workshops. I'm trying to do it like this a little bit more. Other thing too that's starting to occur to me is how much space we need to access each of these workshops. Like for example, I've just seen on other streamers um, or that this is our barracks. They're training in here. We've got actual melee fighting going on now. This is the channel beneath it. This is very hard to see. Maybe I will have them smooth this momentarily. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's have an order just to smooth this. Smooth boy. There we go. Nice. And even smooth out the channel down there. Even the walls. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's so smooth. Amazing. And maybe we'll smooth out these barracks too. Can they smooth their own walls? No, they can't. This makes the smoothed areas maybe even better. Maybe even better than I had expected. You know, I've been ignoring chat for a little while. Um, HD Hype, thank you very much for the Prime. I've come away a little bit, but uh, what else should we kind of summarize here? We've got a temple, potentially. This is a polar bear woman who is visiting. We had the hatch up there. We have some goblin people visiting us. We're trying to flesh out our dining room here. I think that's most of the stuff that I had wanted to do. Oh, and then here also, too, we had gotten more bedrooms ready and just kind of scaling our production on stuff. Um, and I believe we also have catacombs. It looks like someone left a tomb just in the stairway. That's fine. They'll get to it later, I'm sure. Uh, and we've got an order for more downward stairs for more, hopefully accessing the magma. But also, too, with tombs, I've just seen people do them one by one. So I think that's fine. Um, carpenter workshop and tell them to make 10 bins, multiply the storage pace by 10 to 80. Okay, bins sound good to me. Uh, let's go ahead just to our labors then, bins. We haven't really done too much detailed with bins. Uh, whoopsie daisy, there we go, bin. I guess we could have done this in, a, in another way, but let's go to wooden bin. Down here, wooden bin, there it is. Okay, so make the wooden bins. This menu is still horrible. To look at but amount of empty bins less than 10 let's say uh, satisfied for the next check so they will definitely be making the bins let's say maybe let's add to that let's say maybe uh, we've been very ambitious with this let's just double it maybe just doubling everything would be a good place to start okay um we've also got different areas we can kind of zoom to now so we've got the above ground here we go, we've got our trade depot. Someone had requested blocks, but they couldn't carry very many of them. But, I mean, it was a request. I did do a little bit of trading as well. I believe it was metal bars that we got. But here we go. Uh, gosh, the drinks are getting even lower. One thing we can do in case if we do start to run really low on drinks would be to dig deeper and try to get more 
plump helmets uh, down in the ground. But one thing that we're struggling with right now is that we just don't really have too many pickaxes. Let's go ahead into our stocks. And, hmm. Would it be under tools? Picks? Or would it technically be under weapons? Weapons. Let's try weapons. I want to say that it's under picks because we lost one in the river. We do certainly have a lot of crossbows and they have, are of various qualities, all of them. Uh, let's see, pick. Yeah, we do have picks in here. So we have iron pick. Uh, can we go to the iron pick? So one of the iron picks is here with the miner who is actually a, a doubling as our carpenter. Do we have labors here? We might want to specialize some of our labors again. Yeah, so we have three miners. So Ushrir Likatogem, who has the iron pick. Let's just specialize you on mining right now. And let's just follow you around for a minute. Make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to. Okay, so you're making a wooden hatch cover. Let's just give you a minute to finish that off. Gathering plants from the surface, too, also might work. I mean, okay, we've got 35. Did we get some migrants? Hang on a moment. Good, so you're digging now. So the mining is being done. I just, I don't need it to all be done so fast. I just need at least one person who's really plugging away at the mining. And they call it a mine. There we are. Uh, we do need iron bars, though, and we just aren't really getting to that. Uh, what else? We should just uh, double check on a lot of these, like, work orders. Oh, uh, we need iron for some of this. So we don't even have iron as a resource. So we're probably going to need to keep on digging deeper or just digging around for it. Uh, what is this? Uh, iron is kind of brownish, right? No, that's not it. Um, or like iron ore, I suppose. Uh, charcoal has been completed. Good, so we've got charcoal. Um, what else is this? Okay, so we do have the migrants. Yep, we had gone up from 25 to 35. We are getting even more dangerously low on drinks. So this is going to give us at least more dwarves to kind of boss around and do things with. So yeah, let's go ahead up to that main level. And let's just gather all the plants from up here because I can't think of much else for these people to do. Um, I mean, they should all be... Yeah, look at all the wood that they've managed to stockpile. If nothing else, we should have tons of haulers to work on our tasks. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many pieces of wood in the river that we left there. So we'll just do G, and let's just gather just gather the things around here. I guess in our like main mode area, and a little bit outside of that. Just to kind of clear out this area. I don't really think that the refuse stockpile looks very good anymore there, but that seems like a big job, so I don't want to do it. This is also going to get our humans to work, and look at this. Wow. Everyone's working so faithfully. So this does show us that, you know, as soon as we uh, issue an order, we should have our dwarves getting ready. Um, the bins assign them manually in the workshop. Okay, so then should we do... Hmm. Hang on a moment. Let's go back down to our carpenter's workshop. How would we assign a bin, McVener? Thank you very much for the help. Rip Fort, I'm going to reload the save because uh, we just accidentally put a hole in the ceiling and now flooded our entire fort. So, uh, amazing. But, like, we at least get the pleasure of seeing dwarves drown. We had done it with the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to save Scum right here just because I, I think this was a good time. Though this is reminding me of the time that my uh, own childhood house did flood. And we tried to sop it up with towels, which was... Uh, not the best idea, but it is a spectacle, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on that. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and reload a save. But, I mean, before, I mean, it was a waterfall fort, so to be fair. Waterfall, am I right? Or am I right? Look, even the doors are preventing the water from getting through. But, hey, it wouldn't be a complete AA is learning dwarf fortress stream without an amazing... Oh my gosh, these are like water tight doors wait a second I, we're gonna just use this opportunity briefly to learn because is a door able to stop water by golly it is by golly it is we don't even need floodgates anymore look at how nicely that just filled in and the doors are just so effective wooden d vacuum Glad sealed doors amazing I mean, I guess we could just flood the entire fort. Obviously, I don't want it to end on something this stupid, so I am going to save scum. So, 
I apologize for that. Okay, so I've pretty much save scummed and just gone back to that. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to figure this out, because I anticipated that I would make many mistakes in this series, but we had been encountering mined areas where we were we were seeing the water icons from above before, and that had never given me issues, but I suppose we must have done this beneath a wall, so we'll just tread with extra caution from now on. I am going to just not mine out any more of this cavern area because of my fear. Uh, I mean, maybe some of it will be okay. <laughs> well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I, I guess that is to say when you're mining underwater, don't be stupid. Which, uh, yeah, I was pretty stupid there. But, you know, entertaining, and, and that's very good fun also, too. But it looks like we are starting to get some channeling done here. And let's also follow around our laborer dwarf, or our minor dwarf. So, uh, Ashrir, where is Ashrir to be found? I guess we could go under units. Ashrir, Ashrir, where are you? Hang on a second. Let's go over to you. What's going on with you? Ashrir, you're listening to poetry. All right, I guess that's fair. I mean, they have a decent way of keeping themselves happy. My dwarves are happy, to my own credit. Not many of them are dying. Uh, we may not have gotten that migrant uh, group, though, yet. Oh, no, there we go. Yep, we got the migrants back. Good, so we're all caught up with everything that we did after save scumming. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, they do like the tavern. They do spend a lot of time offering things to, like, the gods in the temple. But that just seemed like kind of a, a waste of time because there was a lot of work still to be done before. We're looking for hematite also now. Is it hematite that gives us iron? Thank you for that. Um, we've clogged up the river. No more bodies of water that might dangerously kill us all. Uh, but we still do have a hole in the floor. Nope, that's sealed because of the hatch. Please tell me that that's healed. Passable. Nope, so we're going to make that forbidden. Is the duck, has the duck gotten out of there? Okay, the duck's just going to come around the other way. We do have a brook there, though, for the duck to come around because the duck is very intelligent. There we are. Um, so other things that we want to work on, I guess let's just get the rest of these bedrooms out because we do have 32 pop now. Uh, we're down to 38 drinks, but we have been gathering those up. That's good. Let's go ahead also to into our labors and into our kitchen to just see what other things do they have. So let's say, uh, what else can we make drinks out of? I guess let's go on a quest further out in the rest of the world. What other things could we make drinks out of for our for our dwarves to sip upon up here because maybe we'll find some of them out in the wild and we will keep digging down to hopefully replenish our plump helmet seeds in some way um also too maybe when we get another trade wagon maybe then we could get some more plump helmet seeds but you know it's good to just have a plan b to back us up in case of something like that goes horribly awry which often it does so to be fair yeah i mean that's a thing okay what are you doing you're listening to a story I mean, at least he's happy, but he's not really being very productive, and I want more mining to occur. So the zone to collect the fruit and nuts. Ah, maybe the fruit and nut collection zone would be a good idea. Ah, so then what would we do th with that? Gather fruit. Ga plant gathering zones are used to locations where plants will be gathered frequently. Use the gather designation. I did not know this. Ah, so then, like, perhaps we can just do this so that we have them normally do this. Like, you know like reasonable humans, or rather dwarves, I should say. Let's just say over here. This is close enough to home. We could have them do that. Gather fruit and vegetables from shrubs in this zone. Oh! Gather fruit in trees just above this zone requires a step ladder, And then fallen fruit as well. This is very exciting. Let's make this zone even larger, just because I anticipate we're going to have a lot of idle dwarves. So, mm, yeah, go ahead out into the plain and just gather up everything you can. That way, maybe they'll, like, start foraging for food if they can't get it, you know? Gather fruit 2478. I wonder what the plus one means. I, I like this. This is very nice UI. This is very, like, crunchy. Why is everyone this dying? This is my step ladder. I never knew my real ladder ladder. <laughs> Didn't this guy die before, or did he also fall in? Zaladar, thank you very much for the sub, and the, as well as the very funny joke and the, and the year of subbing. Hang on a second. Yeah, are people still dying? Wait a second. Dedek? He was fighting. 
Mm. Why are we fighting? Jesus Christ. Oh, no, so they just fought, and then he fell down a well. Wait, the, why did the guy fight it, the youth? Hmm. I could just ignore these deaths. But I was thinking that these grates, no one could get past the grate. Was it damage from falling? Oh, so it was damage from falling? So the grates didn't prevent them from dying there. That is unfortunate. I was hoping that those grates would help. How will I ever miss my dwarves? Because they this is considered an impassable square. I'm going to go ahead here into the grates. I was thinking that this construction would save us. He couldn't have fallen through the grate. I mean, that's a whole, like, three feet for you to decide. I should probably step back from this. Fortification. Oh, maybe I could try, like, this thing. So, for example, if we did this. Um, constructions, trade depot, uh, doors, hatches. Constructions. Are you saying that we would need to do... I had tried grates. Oh, okay, so we would have to do this instead. Are you telling me that I have to do this? Let's make it out of jet. Yeah, jet. Go ahead. So if we put these hollows with fortifications, this will actually work? Yes, that's a polar bear with a shirt on. That's considered normal in this universe. Okay, this is news to me. If they fell from the top, it would need protection from the hindrances. See, this to me was... This didn't really look very architecturally pleasing because I wanted my dwarves to be misted. But it appears as if the mist is penetrating through the fortifications and although it doesn't look maybe as pretty it still works because I want my dwarves to fall through the waterfall less often which they do an unfortunate amount okay so those grates weren't even necessary this is the construction of the future the future is now uh, unfortunately a lot of people were seriously injured in the fall <laughs> Everyone finds the waterfall really tempting. This is like Narcissus. They can travel uh, They can travel diagonally to... Oh, that's a very good point to make. Yes. Okay, so then let's build even more of them. Hopefully, those will be the last dwarves that will throw their lives away into the waterfall. I didn't want to put the waterfall at the... Like the balcony at the very bottom because I thought that would be like, you know, little tykes. However, here we find ourselves with a lot of injured dwarves on our hands, so... It, like, it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Do this. Fine. Do it out of claystone. Uh, actually, no. That looks horrible. Do it out of jet as well. Let's go ahead in here. I think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with these menus now. Um, select material. Yes, you select the material after placement. Let's do it out of jet. Did we do it out of jet blocks? Well, we're doing it out of jet blocks from now on. Yeah, that jet blocks. Oh, it's even damp. It has that attribute about it. Wow, that is very interesting. I wonder what this could mean. Okay. This is about my third test of will everyone die by falling down the waterfall. They still haven't gotten the corpses yet, though, so... Let's go down to our tombs. We're at least getting a burial and I mean, a, a tutorial in burials. whoops a daisy um, Z. We do have these tombs now designated. And you get your very own tomb. Your very own, <laughs> your very own. And that's Good all job. that you get. Hey, Cheese, how are you doing, my brother? Thank you very much for the year. Streamer friend Royale with Cheese TV in chat. You've been doing a lot of Dwarf Fortress too lately, right? Hyper's RC, thank you very much for the sub. If they fell from the top or need hindrance from the top of the waterfall. Oh, that's also a good point. Maybe we should, you know, anticipate future death. And that they could be that dumb. So, yeah, let's go ahead and say... I mean, I don't want to anticipate every single thing. But look, they all make this stupid move. They're like, yeah, let me just walk right by the edge of the waterfall. I don't even want people to walk around here anymore. So let's go ahead and just build fortifications over there. B... Fortification, and we'll do it like here. Let's just make everything out of jet from now on. That's pretty easy to remember. B, constructions, fortification, 
because they i mean like look they're such daredevils <laughs> they're like i'm not touching it i'm not touching it definitely gonna die uh all right, how are we doing with channeling that entire... We're not really making too much progress over in that department either because most people are just falling down and ignoring your deaths again. Direct Kale Knight. Ah, oh, human crossbowmen are visiting. It's kind of funny how it does describe it as, as a fight, though. Oh, no, we have a possession. Or that could be good. Okay, he's claimed the clothier's shop. I do believe we have a loom, though, and some of the other things that we needed. Where else were we there? We were doing pastures, I think, before all of that, so that not everyone would die. Let's check on our stocks again. Plants. Plants, 380. So we have spinach. What else do we have in here? Millet. Hemp. What else? Asparagus, which makes your urine a different color. Garden cress. Sounds delicious. Lettuce. I have some lettuce growing. Parsnips. Rhubarbs. This is so real. Plump helmets. Okay, good. We're starting to get back some more of our plump helmets and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and put at the top of our labors also. Um, do we have brew drink from plant? I want that to be at the very top because that is pretty much like the most important thing that we're doing every single day because just look at how low our drinks are, guys. Hello, low. Thank you very much for the sub. Um, uh, let's see. Here we go. Do I know how water pressure works? I'm still, uh, yes, of course I know how water pressure works. The water pressures into the room, and then usually everyone gets killed by the water. Of course. What, are you crazy? Of course I know how that works. Uh, however, I did not expect, though, like, one wouldn't think that mist would get through these fortifications. And yet it does. Perfectly safe now. Sort of safe, really. Yes, good. Entertain us while we hurt ourselves. Let's go ahead back down to our bedrooms, though, because I had been at... Excuse me, at this point. Man, I'm still getting over this cold. All right, here we are. So let's ignore that for longer. And let's go B, um, F, furniture. And we'll put in some beds. Uh, wait a second. I don't really care what the material of these beds are, so we'll do B, F, B. And with that, just use closest material. There we go. We're giving them pretty large bedrooms. We don't really need this, but eventually I, I was thinking that we were going to give them cabinets if we ever get up to that. Um, or like, you know, maybe their own chests and things like that. How nice that would be. Uh, PR. There we are. Door. And we'll do the same thing here because doors... These are like NASA doors in this game. That Now, we think about all that we learned in that huge mistake that we made that doors are actually watertight. In Dwarf Fortress? Who would have thought that? Shift and T. Oh, designating a high traffic area. Oh, I've not actually done this. This is kind of interesting. Ooh, I didn't know that this was allowed. Thank you very much, Sir Draconis. So, set a restricted traffic area. Citizens will look hard for better routes. They will still use the area if other routes do not exist or are too long. It would be interesting if I had, like, a heat map or something like that there. It looks as though we prevented them from mostly being stupid over here. But, yeah, that would not be a bad thing to do. I did not know that. Thank you very much. So, we could pretty much just say, like, don't go over here. Like, don't stand right by the edge of the waterfall. Not so smart. I think also maybe this square and these ones as well. You know, just don't stand. Isn't there a song like this by who is who sang that? Don't stand so, don't stand so. But it, it didn't involve a guy falling off the edge of a waterfall. They might do it on the lower levels though. We might have to do it for every single level. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't do it from let's say like the first two levels, and then if you do it beyond that. Well, we'll just kind of learn the the level of how astronomically stupid our dwarves are. Ah, that's good. That's good to see. We're down to 12 drinks. This is getting uh, to be a nail biter. 11. Is anyone working in here? We have a fishery. We've got... Uh, why are they not... Um... And we do have the labors. We do have the labors. That is true. This is a little weird. 
This is a little weird. We've got no plants to eat. We do have plump helmet spawns in here, though. I thought we had more. No, nope, there's like none. I don't know what we've done wrong. We have to figure out what's going wrong with this because we are like now out of drinks and this is bad. Uh, help me out, chat. We messed up and I, I need to get bailed out again. Um, help me. I don't know what I'm doing. Disaster averted. We had just not been producing barrels. Some of these things, like I said, like disastrous and horribly obvious mistakes I'm going to make. We had done them in our first fort, but it's always a project to recollect everything that we're supposed to do. Now we're making wine out of cherries and we had a fine parsnip wine a moment ago. So we created 10 drinks out of each of those, I believe. Um, though it seems that they've had six of them. We had a dwarf go mad, presumably from being thirsty, uh, which is quite a, a crime to have happen to you. Oh, it looks like we unintentionally let the river flow through here as, ooh, that's not too particularly good. Did I turn off numbers in my um, UI display? Oh, that's not too particularly good. I did not mean to do that. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and just cancel out some of these for now because I wanted to channel other parts of this. Um, I have to add the numbers back. Thank you very much. Hang on a moment. Uh, by the mini map. Thank you. Yep, there we go. Water numbers. There it is. All right, so little things that we've missed like that here and there. Anyway, I meant to flood that area independent or like safely like this. Here we go. This is a perfectly safe way to work, but yeah, this is like the least. <laughs> Dwarves just don't really use common sense at all. Um, entertaining. You're allowed to come in here to entertain us. Uh, somebody else died. Wait. I think you had just fallen down, though. That was after the fortifications. You probably deserve to die anyway. You know? Oh, no, he could have fallen out, to be fair, here. I don't know why that got suspended. For some reason, it was suspended. Possible that he fell down there. But yeah, there we go. Good, done. Okay, so, disaster averted, but I knew that we would make several horribly obvious mistakes, so let's just go over it. So, pretty much, we hadn't been producing barrels, and we didn't have our manager validating work orders fast enough, which we might want to look at what our manager is doing then, just because this could be... Like, you could be tied up in other stuff. Hang on a second. Do you even have an office, too? We've just got let so much get ahead of me here. Z. Oh, we... I'm pretty sure you do. Oh, we'll multi-designate the last offices. There we go. So, tons of offices that we have now. Who is here? This is Udib the Weaver. Uh, what was your job? Nish uh, is the expedition leader. Dakast. Okay, so they don't even have a... Uh, gosh, we've just had so many dwarves die who had offices, I also believe. That I've also lost track of that as well. Um, hmm. The weaver has a study. The weaver doesn't even need a study, though. Where is our... We could give the polar bear an office. <laughs> I just love the random polar bear living in our fort. Um, did Oh, I believe that the manager died. Yes, the manager died. That's why. Okay. So, Nish, you're also the... <laughs> that's why they weren't validating the orders. That makes sense. Sure asked Zeg... Uh, no, I want the Fisher Dwarf to do that. You know, you're an animal caretaker, but probably not too many animals. Or Meng, you're an herbalist. That's just... No. So, you don't get to do that. Okay, expedition leader could use an office, but yeah. Let's give this one to Meng. And then this bedroom will also belong to Meng. Where is Meng? I'm going through and just making sure that they're sleeping near their office because we want everyone to have their hands off of their items, you know. Meng, Meng, where are you, Meng? Meng, you get this bed instead. All right, um... We also need... There's just so many things missing here. Let's just stay paused for a moment while we designate some more stuff. Furniture, we're going to do a table in here. That way you have a desk. Okay, let's double check and make sure that every... Udib. You didn't even need this, though. Didn't you, Udib? What did you... What was your office? Udib, I think we pretty much deassigned you from having any office. You know, Udib, you could have an office. Why don't you be... Mm, no, we won't have you do that. Let's give this to someone who needs it. Who has an office? Dakost. So the bookkeeper, the expedition leader, and the manager currently have offices and so on and so forth. Um, Nish is going to get this bedroom, though, too. 
Nish, there you go. Everybody else will just self-assign, hopefully. And Dakost, he is correctly assigned to his bedroom. Udib, no. Um, we need one for Lycott. Lycott, you get that. I mean, this isn't favoritism. This is just people with the offices. So you're the militia commander. Wait a minute. Didn't I have... Okay, and the chief medical dwarf could probably use one as well. Hang on a second. Maf okay, good. Maffol is currently assigned. Uh, I feel like we're missing one. Etur. Ah, yes, the militia captain and the militia commander. So Etur will get one as well. So here we go. Etur, where are you? Uh, I'm pretty sure Datan. Datan, you already have... Oh, no, Dak... Wait a second. What are you, Dakost? I never thought I would be saying this many dwarf names, did I? Hang on a second. Now I've gotten even more confused. Oh, Datan is the... Okay, yeah, so the broker obviously needs an office, I think, or before that. Um, Dakost already has one. So Datan will get that. There we go. And you give up your bedroom to Datan. There we go. So now that's most of our office, or the major offices, the ones that are important. And in the meantime, you know, we have 31 pop now. Let's just go ahead and smooth out everybody else's offices and bedrooms. We might as well. We might as well. There we are. Good. Man, I really want those 2.5D graphics so that we could, like, ad admire the fine craftsmanship here. Uh, this wasn't perfectly, like, symmetrical in line, but... I don't know, just this fort is so scuffed now at this point. Let's go B. There we are. So we've given them far too many orders that they can't complete. Good. And it will go B, P, R to get more doors in here so that we could actually give everyone a complete bedroom because these still aren't even designated as bedrooms yet. Okay. Um. Ooh, jeez, Louise. There's so much to manage in workflow. It's almost like once we get there, it's going to be amazing. Office manager... Uh, yes, we do have the manager for the office and the bookkeeper. Discover an expansive cavern deep underground. Okay, this is very exciting. Uh, here we are. Ooh. Yellow. Open space. Dense floor fungus. Now this is the fungus among us. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just said among us. Wow. Oh, who would have thought I would have said that today? All right, so, yeah, Among Us, the hit game Among Us, uh, which obviously we aren't playing Among Us, but that being said, we do have some plump helmets down here, so this is quite nice. We can gather these. Um, we could gather as many other cave fungi, fungi as we want to, but let's go ahead and just try to focus on the plump helmets. Is there a way to, like, selectively gather just these? Oh, these are dead plump helmets. That is unfortunate. No, those are also dead. Practically all of them are dead. Oh, no. These ones are dead. But uh, no, not all of them are dead. About half of them are dead, I would say. Now, this is also going to open up, like, the bizarre world of stuff that just comes up. But also, too, adventurers will probably come to our fort for the purpose of slaying monsters. So that gives us perhaps some allies in the future. And then just giant uh, anti-fire, which we learned, and also anti-magma trees of spores also some free cave silk too um how would we gather that would they just take it yeah the polar bear <clears throat> don't <clears throat> don't single out the polar bear just because he's different from everyone else but yes i, I agree it is quite plausible that he he could be the imposter very well although a lot of these spiders are going to be hard to spot because they must be considered vermin right Oh, auto-collect on web, and we've set a look. Ooh. Okay, so maybe they'll just have that in the... If we have the workshop that allows that. Well, free spider silk is, is always a cause for celebration. Whenever I spot a spider in real life, I let out a great yell. Um, because, of course, it is a joyous occasion that I will be able to collect its silk and use it for my clothing, which I which I weave for myself in my loom at my house. People think that because I'm a streamer, I'm not handy around the house. I'm very useful around the house. There we are. Phew, sheesh. That was a lot. Um, I did order the forever 
brewing of drinks from plants here. I think we may be able to get rid of that now. Yes, the order has been validated, so we can get rid of all of these crazy orders that I panicked into creation. Uh, only because we didn't have a manager who could manage that, but yeah. It looks like the barrels have de-designated themselves, too. Uh, we just have tons and tons of those. So good. Good, good, good. Very good. Uh, although it does look like they're getting a little bit lower on wood and stuff like that. So let's think, start to think about tools. We had axes that were being made, right? I want to say that we had axes. We had steel bars that we were making, iron pick. I mean, we are trying to forge these things, but they're quite a long way down the list. We have charcoal and stuff going into a, like a, what is it, a, a smithy or whatever it is. Hey, Corin Aaron, thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. That's very nice. Truly hope you've been enjoying the content, Corin Aaron, because that's not 72 gift subs, Corin. That is very, very generous of you. Thank you very much. Everybody's getting one. Please be sure to say thanks to Corin. We could, well, we, we could go off on that horrible tactic of capturing animals like we did the last time when we had all of those Dralphas just kind of homeless in our base. I mean, that was a vibe. Yes, yip, yip, yippee. Silk for me. How did you guess what I say to myself whenever I see this? Um, we are getting a lot of floor fungus. Why is this? There's even fungus growing on the loamy sand. A sandy loam upstairs, downstairs place. Could this be problematic? It's just, there's more. Yeah, the fungus is going to take... I mean, it took over our other farms. And I mean, they are pretty much fungus farms. So, I suppose not really a major cause for concern. But it is weird. It is definitely weird. Hey, we may be able to just grow more floor fung... Or, uh, what was I going to say? Plump helmets there, too. I'm wondering, though, is this because it's raining or something like that? Is the water sending it in? We used to get a very nice, I want to say that it was like a pitter-patter animation when it would rain up top. Don't be bothered by my mosaic of floor. It's modern art, guys. It's modern art. And a blue jay died here. Oh, is it because I opened the cavern and it comes up from the cave? That's interesting. So it has the ability to travel upward like that? That's so crazy. Oh my gosh. I mean, whenever you open up the cavern, it's kind of like... It's kind of like platform nine and three quarters. You learn that, you you know... You're a wizard. <laughs> you thought you were a dwarf, but you're actually a wizard. Yes. Exactly. That must be the way it is. Well, let's set an, a quick um, auto jump over here to the cavern, though. Um... We've got more of these here. Is this open space above the plump helmets? Yeah, this is quite... We had some child fall down one of these things before, and that wasn't too good. Um, but let's go ahead and set a new location here. Edit the recenter hotkey locations. I think we've got them up to F7, so we'll say come here. So now we've got, what is it, tavern, top, uh, the horrible-looking farms now. Storage area, which I do think makes sense. I mean, the whole idea here was just radiate out work, and I think that worked out quite well. Um, bedrooms. Man, look at how nice these look now. Wow, with all the smooth boy walls. Um, barracks. Catacombs. And now the cave. Hey, thank you very much for the 1,100 bits, Vactane. Thank you, Vactane. That's very, very generous of you. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Fungus is from the spores. So this fungus is from the spores in the cave. Let's go back up to our farming area. Now we have 111 drinks. We're quite good on drinks. So, I mean, no one's in any danger of death or dying. So it's pretty much just keeping our dwarves happy. So let's go ahead and check out what's wrong with this guy. Um, Who is unhappy? U oh, wait, Udib. Oh, yeah, we did kind of take away her bedroom. So let's go ahead and see what uh, her problem is. Udib, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you happy? Um, 82 years old lady, old lady who's hungry and dehydrated and drowsy. Yeah, I mean, I'd be upset too if I were a, a thirsty, hungry old lady. But why aren't you having any food, Udib? This is content being, okay, so the waterfall has been helping her out. I didn't feel anything after seeing a cow die. That's a little ominous. Interested, but what are her traits? Quick to love, intemperate, so that... 
I guess means that she is just like very heavy on the bottle. Although she's just walking around in circles now. Oh, she's running around in babbling. So she's gone crazy. She can't really take care of her own needs. Poor social awareness. Disdains fairness. That's a little weird. Disdains craft work. Disdains artwork. She's just kind of like a counter, very countercultural, you know? No official position. Squad none. Maybe she's upset when she lost her position. Did she even have one? Unmet need drink alcohol. So yeah, she's just kind of going crazy. All right. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and just say, I know that the, the, uh, the advantages stack from them getting these carved faces on the ground. And I just want to do everything to keep my dwarves as happy as possible. So like, let's go ahead and just make our dining room immaculate. Uh, because that, and also to our hospital, because dwarves will probably be in a pretty bad mood if they've been kind of banged up. Let's go ahead and do that too. And then we'll just start to carve out the halls and make them nicer. Because I figure if we have any free dwarves, like look, they might as well go to this work. And it seems as though the humans who come in here, who just kind of sit around and entertain each other like humans would. You know, I distrust humans. Um, although I am one. Um, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> where are we going with this? Yeah, let's also smooth this out, because this is going to be the temple eventually as well. And, you know, just smooth out the entire hall, because this should be a grand area for our dwarves. Okay, who died? Okay, the calf, uh, calf. Well, why did you bring the calf inside of the tavern? Okay, good. Udib is dead. Goodbye, Udib. She wasn't really going to fit in. And we've got a ghost now, though, too. Okay, Nil is to... Ah, uh, jeez. So we've got a ghost hunt, haunting the for, uh, fortress. Oh, we did have a way of... Um, was it that we couldn't get the remains? It might have been that. Who was it? Nil? No, we didn't uh, designate this one, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep, we didn't designate this. So we've got to... Um, we've got to designate these rooms... For the dwarves that we lost. Oh no, that doesn't get designated. Um, so I forgot to explain this before, but Nil Ustut Melbil had drowned in the river, which was so tragic. Um, and when he drowned, we forgot to memorialize him, so now he's come back up to haunt us. So this is uh, one of the first events of its kind, but we're going to go ahead. We went over to our uh, stonemason's workshop. No, this is the metalsmith's forge. And uh, I had done, I guess they've done it now, the engrave memorial slab option. So now we've got a memorial slab to nil uh, uh, um, something or other. Uh, now, uh, I wonder if that's placed back into the stockpile or is that in there? Yep, there it is. Claystone Memorial to nil us. Uh, that's a spicy meatball. So we're going to go ahead and send that. I guess if we just do B furniture slab there, I wonder if they will. Wait a second. No, don't use the closest material. Select material after placement. Hang on a second. Cancel construction. B furniture slab. And I can pick that they will memorialize him at this one. That's good. So we finally got the memorial to nil in there. And we could probably do a room of a bunch of those. That might even be more efficient. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do M. We'll just mine out a room for anybody who dies and we can't get the body. And they're all staying in the same room. It's like, you know, if we can't get to you, you got to share your bedroom with your dead buddies forever. Um, stray horse, uh, our horse, uh, why are the horses coming down in here? I thought I told them to pasture at the top. Hang on a second, this is a disgrace. Z, P, surely, surely we must have the animals up here. Oh, you know, no, yeah, it's just the cats and the dogs. For some reason, the duck is staying down there, but I'm not going to question the duck's decision. Yeah. Maybe we should make this pasture larger, though. Don't you think? That doesn't seem like enough room for them to do, you know, duck and horse stuff. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's go back down to those catacombs. Make sure Nil got his memorial. There we are. Good. All right, stop complaining. Stop haunting us. Uh, he's been put to rest. Good. So we're no longer being haunted. 
Um, uh, make cloth bag in his unused plant cloth. Well, I guess we'll get to that as we go. Okay, and great, some migrants have now arrived. Amazing. Oh, uh, hang on a second. I'm pretty sure I got this right in time. Good. Here they come. It's like Snow White. This is always the sign that we're doing a good job, and really the truth is that we're just barely feeding everyone. But we have averted so many disasters, people are feeling better. You know, we still haven't been invaded, surprisingly. We might want to use this opportunity to, uh... We could deconstruct the horrible, random mosaic floor that's really bothering everyone. But I think I'm just going to leave it there for as long as possible. However, I'm going to build above it. Um, and maybe we'll build, like, a some sort of like a room above here. And let's also build some ramps, right? Oh god, there's the dead horse. Hmm. I wonder if this is bothering them to just see this all the time. No one's really complained about it. I don't think they're as picky as Rimworld pawns, so I'm just going to be okay with that. It's amazing to me, though, that these things don't, like, kind of biodegrade. Hmm. 49 dwarves, though. That's a lot more... Well, that's a lot more than we had before. Let's go ahead and check on our stocks. I want to see if the plump helmets are getting back to being made. No seeds on plump helmets again. Why don't we have any plump helmet seeds? We had just been designating them for... Hang on a second. Plants. Plump. Well, we, it does say that we have 15. I guess they just haven't been processed yet in here. Hmm, brewing drinks from plants. Yeah, I mean, free for anybody to use. Work orders can be specifically for this shop. I mean, it is pretty high up on our list. They're doing it with fruit and that. Somebody should be around at some time or another. But, uh, yeah, no, we haven't been cooking them. Those are taken off of our list. That's pretty much the one thing I knew I kept having to do just to survive. Okay, a guild hall. We may want to actually do this because, you know, then they could start to exchange information about farming. Maybe we could get them more efficient at it. Ooh, this is going to be... Well, maybe we'll make this into the guild hall eventually. Or before, I was going to do this as a temple. Let's allow that. So I'm pretty sure this is a meeting area, right? We just call this new room a meeting area. And then we change the type of it. Guild hall. Here we go. Let's make this the farmers. My god, there's so many. And they're not alphabetized either. Animal, hunter, trapper, uh, furnace. Letter F. F. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> Why would they organize it like that? I, I love the game, but... <laughs> uh, um, details for the assigned location. Meeting place, 1,000... I don't really know what they're waiting for a thousand of. Only members can visit guild if guild is established. Okay, I guess they did want to establish it, though. So there it is. That's your guild hall. Let's put a door in front of it, because why the heck not? B. P. R. No, we need doors. Oh, it's probably just because we're so low on wood. Yeah, they have basically none. Hmm... This gets us back, circling back to our original conflict. If we look at our stocks, I just don't think that we had too many axes around, right? I'm going to go back over to weapons. I believe it's under weapons. Battle axe. So they have battle axes, but I suppose that they can't use those for... Oh, or we could do rock doors. That's fair. Yeah, hadn't thought of that. Um, Not a bad idea. Love a good old lightweight rock door. It may not have occurred to me at first. I'm not the smartest boy. But at the same time, you know, rock doors aren't always the first thing on my mind. And hopefully they'll do that with the, um... Well, it's going to take them some time to do it. Okay, not really a lot of meat, but they do have food. So what have they been making food out of? I truly... I can't explain to you how we have this much food, I gotta say. Food. What is our food? We may never know. Is it under meals? Prepared meals. There we go. Muscle biscuits. Oh, it's all the seafood we've got. These are... Oh, okay, well, there's more to it. We have lettuce. All the stuff that we gathered. Red spinach leaf biscuits. That sounds great. 
Wow. This is like a very bougie dwarf fortress now, like something you would get in like Greenwich Village in New York City or something like that. Oh, and look, organically grown plump helmets. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. Come on, that that's nice, right? Wine roasts. Good old rock doors now. Oh, they are gathering rather fast as well. Okay, so back on the axe thing. Let's go ahead and just see if we can get them to make more axes. Um, axe. Battle axes? What about, like, good old chopping axes? Battle axe. Waxcraft. Wooden training axe. Steel battle axe. What type of axe is it that they need for cutting down trees? Or could they just use them for bronze axe blade, metal axe blade? Hmm. Battle axes are chopping axes. Oh, so then maybe we just need to assign the labor to more people. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, woodcutters. Oh, perhaps this is why, because we have no one assigned to these things. So let's go ahead and have other people do this. This is good. Okay, you're just a peasant, so that you're going to do that. Bookbinder, brewer, yeah. It, it never occurs to me that people don't just do stuff automatically much of the time. Oh, and we could also say, yeah, everybody does this. Oh, or we could just say, no, yeah, let's just say every, uh, wait, can we say? It's funny that you can't assign some of these to just everybody does this. Like, why not just allow everyone to cut wood? You know? Fisher dwarves only select to do this. May need another fisher dwarf, too. Um, do we have anyone who specializes on that? I mean, eventually we should really get people more onto their specialized tasks. Like the farmer does the farming um, planter. Though we said that everybody should do this. Haulers, everybody does this. Orderlies, I guess that's to keep things in line, like in the stockpiles. Stone cutters, everybody does this for smoothing. That one makes sense. Fisher dwarves, only selected. Fisher dwarf, Fisher dwarf. Is Fisher dwarf always in blue? They seem to be the same color. If so, then that appears to be the only one we have. I do like that color coding, though. Hunting, hunting, hunting. We don't actually have anyone assigned to hunting. Do we have a hunter? No, we have an animal caretaker. I suppose that the animal caretakers might make sense as hunters if something should come along that requires hunting. Other than that, I think I'm just going to randomly assign a bunch of you guys to be woodcutters because it doesn't seem that anyone has that as a specialized thing. Uh, I mean, carpenter kind of makes sense, but I want him to focus on the carpentry, not on the woodcutting. You are a professional wood burner. Mr. Burns. <laughs> I guess an axe dwarf makes sense to have to do with the cutting. Yeah, absolutely. And then the peasant and some of the other people. Man, animal die sector. There's such interesting jobs in this game. Okay, so behold, as my dwarves, well, drink right now. That's what they're doing. They're just drinking. But let's go ahead and have them go back up the world. Here we go. They should probably start to cut down more of the trees now, and they're going to horribly hurt themselves as they do so, because sometimes they just knock a tree onto themselves. And that is admittedly funny. This is what I was talking about right here. This is a very dangerous point because there's a downward slope here. Oh no, it's an upward slope? What the heck is that? Hang on a second. Hmm. Do I need to channel that? No, perhaps that is a slope downward. Hey, Delay, thank you very much for coming out. They need a tool to do the work that some of them can't be assigned. Yes, we do have battle axes, though. So many of them... Or we had a bunch of battle axes just lying around, which is why I was trying to figure that out. So battle axes can be used for trees. That will help me so much in my daily life. Okay, channel out the areas where the trees were standing. Although we might get some holes over these, because you can see that where I wanted to channel toward the river, I was getting some kind of bizarre stuff happening. Let's also go ahead and we're just going to do these one by one because I really don't trust people to do this job um channel that one that one that one uh we might just be stuck with a little island right there I'm going to try to slowly take this shore away <laughs> as they channel one by one because I found that when I start to just order the whole thing dwarves just do it in the dumbest way possible and they'll leave these big islands here. But I want this to look very watery. I want to get the amount of water pressure here so that they can kind of get, um, you know, like a better flow going to this river so that we don't just have that area for bathing. That looks pretty good. Hopefully no one will drown there. Hopefully. 
Oh my god. This is a great game. You know, I, I know I've expressed frustration here and there, but like all of that just in in reference to saying that Dwarf Fortress is, is and always has been a 10 out of 10 game. Just such an amazing... Well, it's not a game, it's a simulation, I stand corrected. But yeah. You know what I mean. Ooh. I feel it good. My dwarves are doing what they're supposed to now. I can kind of sit back and chill and watch. To me, that's really the reward of it is uh, Dwarf Fortress. I knew I would kind of put my mind like a square peg into a round hole for a while. And I'd be an idiot on these streams for a while. And, I, you know, I, I try to make that perfectly clear at the very outset of the video. So I I'd, like it's a struggle session. But look at this now. Our dwarves are doing amazing things, guys. Like they're going down and up the stairs and they're bringing in all of that wood. And look at how efficient they are when they all turn into these great ants in this ant hill. And like, like just what a powerful and well-optimized game. I know that they were talking about... Like, and the reason why this happens is because... This game is just so... They don't waste time on stupid things like animations, you know? I mean, it looks beautiful because there's just so much data on the screen. It's like... Well, I mean, that's that's a Seth thing. But it's like Microsoft Excel. And it is basically <laughs> Microsoft Excel. If Microsoft Excel could move, you know? Well, it can move. I, to be fair, actually, you can program games into Microsoft Excel. If you've not done any Excel programming, it is quite fascinating. But it's one of those games that you play that when you play it, it makes you want to make a game. You know what I mean? No, they can't read and they don't even have books yet. And I have no idea what books even are yet. And I am actually quite thankful for this, that there are so many systems left to explore. But let's think of some other things. So we said we were going to make some actual tools. Uh, we, we still really haven't gotten too much to that. We do have enough food and drink, though, to last us for a good long time. Um, what else? Zones, offices. We did get our offices ready. We got a lot more zones of just various types ready. Let's go back down to our area here and see if the guild hall has any work done on it. Did we manage to make those stone doors? Okay, good. We have tons of doors now. Doors for days. It's all because we didn't have the, uh... Well, that's a weird door. Ooh, let's do microcline. That's kind of interesting. The R... My fortress just looks horribly mismatched, but it's going to be that way. It's going to be that way for a while, guys. Who knows if they'll go to the guild hall. They are starting to frequent the dining room, though. Oh, and before I forget, we also wanted to get these tables next to each other. Because apparently dwarves just speak side by side. I was thinking they would, like, sit at their places and kind of talk around the room. But apparently they need to be side by side to get this to work. I still have yet to kind of see this myself, but I don't care if these are mismatched. Let's just do it. Honestly, I think it'll make it look more kind of eclectic. Use closest material. Here we go. It's kind of homey. It is. It's kind of homey. Wait a second. Did they? I didn't get my clicks there. I got to say, that's really nice about the Steam version, though, because I do remember that in Classic. And it was one of the things that drove me away from Classic, because I was just like, ah, oh, this isn't very visual, this isn't as nice and easy to show on screen, but just to be able to place this entire dining room in 10 seconds is quite nice. Hmm. Chair. There we go. Okay, good. So they're filling out the entire dining room, and hing a ding a durgan now the dwarves get- And this is slightly bothering me, because it's still not perfectly, like... There we go. That's a little bit better. B, F... Are some of the hotkeys I have memorized, but other ones I'm going to keep using the the UI for. Like basic things like mining is M U. I have that memorized. It's kind of getting to be like Rimworld in in my left hand, though. You know what I mean? Actually, a lot of people coming out from YouTube. Hey, thank you, Roxel. Hope I'm glad you've enjoyed the videos. Hope you hope you do, or hope it helps you with uh, whatever you found them for in the first place. Heart Seder, thank you very much for the prime as well, and Roxel, thank you. Um, dwarves fight over spots if I have one more more than one chair at each look. I haven't seen that. Um, originally what I thought was that multiple could sit at one table, but then it, I was in, it was enlightened on me, or however you would say that, that it's one per table. So then I had them sitting like one guy sits here, then another guy sits here, then another guy sits here, then another guy sits here. But then, however, then someone told me that they need to be sitting side by side. So I'm like, okay, this will just be a row of dwarves 
and this will be another row of them. And it starts to look kind of like a school, but I don't know. We're, we're trying to arrive at the optimal placement, I suppose. Maybe not optimal, but just better than it was before. There we go, BPR. Uh, yeah, let's have these door, uh, doors match. Um, we'll do apricot. That looks pretty good. Ah, oh, whoops. Nah, I'm just going to mismatch them. It's fine. Ah, it's going to bother me, though. What is this? Hazelwood? Okay, we'll do it. We'll, fine, we'll do it the right way. There we are. Good. Oh, it keeps moving around in the menu. That's why it's confusing me yet even more. Well, this does not look completely awful anymore. A and many of the people are just slightly happy. That's like Kawhi happy face. Uh, somebody who is upset. Oh, hang on a second. We got to uh, pay attention to this. So Nish. Oh, no. Nish was the expedition leader. No. Why is Nish upset? Hang on a second. I mean, he's kind of like the president. You know, the president is never really happy. The president is always sort of like prudently awaiting the next disaster that will... And the president must be a horrible job to have. Just everyone blames you for everything. There we are. Frustrated. Unable to pray to Datton for too long. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't Datton just a guy? Lonely. Oh, did I say he? I meant she. Okay, so hasn't been able to acquire things... So a lot of these are kind of more normalish needs. Do we have chests? Have we ordered the construction of chests at all? I'm going to go ahead and just look into our labors here. I don't... Oh, no, we do have chests. Do we have any of them in our stocks, though? Hmm. Chests. Chests and cabinets. Yes, too. Boxes? Is it under boxes? Okay, so we do have it. We should also make some cabinets, though, while we're at it. So let's go ahead and do that. They want cabinets and chests. Um, let's do, I guess, wooden. We've been using wood for pretty much everything. We might as well just continue here. Uh, make As long as we have less than 10 empty cabinets. Uh, they should be getting to these down the list. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drinking horns. What is a drinking horn? Do they need that, too? Is that like a like Das Boot? Have you ever had beer out of Das Boot, the glass? My roommates did this once in college. They ordered um, the Das Boot drinking things. And oh my god, it was a disaster. I felt more bad for the one who didn't get sick. And who just still had all of that beer in him. It was such a classic sophomore-ish like, type of mistake to make. You know, sophomoric, as they would say, wise fool. And see, it's an educational pun. An educational pun. It was, it was a very funny night for everyone. <laughs> Especially him. Especially him. Now, what is a drinking horn? Wait a second. B. Is that, a, is that like a special glass? Or am I getting a drinking horn? Horn. Horn, Jim. Decorate with horn. What is a horn drink? I can't make a tiny boot to drink out of. This is this is a joke. Oh, wait, but mugs. Yes. A m wait a second. A mug. That sounds like something they would like. Or a goblet. Oh, goblets they do like. Goblet. Yes, here we are. Make them of... Mm. I don't really know what we can do. Can we make rock? Rock goblets? Because we don't really have too much, like, smelting going on yet. Nope. Can't drink out of mug. We could do a mug. Oh, rock mug. All right, we'll do that. Sounds good. Yeah, they, they do like their drinking and eating, though. They, they know a good life. They know a good life, the dwarves. Another thing I've been trying to do is just separate our stockpiles so that this looks slightly more visually appealing, because so far, as you can tell, my fort has been so organized. Um... Hey, thank you very much for the ten very generous gift subs, Dracomint. That is very, very generous. We've had a lot of gift subs this stream. Uh, if you are getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Drakaman, I really do hope that, you're, that you've are that you been enjoying the content. You've given 30 gift subs now. That's quite a lot. I, I do truly hope that this has been... Uh, I, I hope you're not putting yourself at any financial need. But yeah, I do appreciate it. But thank you. Thank you very much, Drakaman. You're, you're a nice, smooth, smooth wall. 
that's what you are. You're a nice, smooth wall. Uh, no, you're not a wall. You're a rock. It's not a boulder. There were, I mean, our dwarves are getting maybe too efficient. I'm actually frightened of how quickly tasks are being completed. Look, they're even organizing things among themselves. Oh my gosh, I almost said among us again, guys. Wow. It's like two for two this stream. Somebody took off all of their clothes. Let's go ahead and just designate out more of these bedrooms. And we'll go ahead and make more bedrooms. And I don't think they need to be three by three. I think two by three might be enough. Yeah, we're just going to start to really cram them into these small locations. It won't look symmetrical, but again, this is like a learning experimentation for it. So I'm just going to keep saying that and making horrible mistakes. So let's do this. There we go. Oh, this is so nice to not have to do a macro. It's like I'm an artist. It's like I, I am an artist. There we are. Okay, I'm picking up these hotkeys super fast. And these ones, I'm fine if these ones mismatch, just because I want them to, I just want to do it fast. I like an eclectic bunch of crazy bedrooms. Who knows what will be behind the door? B, F, B. Man, it's crazy. You know, a few weeks ago, I thought it would be hopeless for me to get these hotkeys down, but I'm finding, excuse me, that I am getting them about as quickly as classic, and being able to get all the movement into the right hand is just super satisfying. I feel like 20 times faster. I'm like a wizard, guys. Cabinet. What kind of word is cabinet? Is that like a French word? Like, originally it was... Cabinet or something like that. <laughs> Don't you love just spreading linguistic misinformation? Actually, the um, the word cabinet is cabinet. Oh, there are some words like that. Like mansion is a French word originally, right? Wasn't that a French loan word? Maison, I believe it was. Because <laughs> how cultured am I? I know French. I think that's the only word of French that I know. Aside from <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> Okay, we've had another drowning at the waterfall. Well, not a drowning, just someone falling out, which is... <laughs> we've had a real falling out in this fort. Okay, so I love the way that these combat locks are... <laughs> the chief medical dwarf's lower body takes the full force of the impact, but is deflected by... I love how it does it in the third person by... I mean, his own, by the chief medical dwarf's... Gray Langer leather dress. Uh, thank God. It's like if I fell out of the window in my apartment. Uh, thank God that my shirt saved me from the fall. Like, what is, what is that? I know that it's the programming of this game and how it's so brilliantly, like, prosaic and procedurally generated and, like, crazy at the same time, but it's just so funny. Um, Chief Medical Dwarf's upper body takes the full force of the bruising the muscle and shattering the left false ribs through the <laughs> parentheses gray langer leather dress. <laughs> and it's so graphic. Oh my god, it's it makes Rimworld look like uh, well, Lim Rimworld has grotesque things happen in it too, but I mean, this is all to say that they fell into the waterfall, which I thought we had prevented by building, <laughs> like, basically a playpen over it. We've now designated the entire waterfall zone as no one goes over here. In fact, you know, just don't even stand right... This basically defeats the entire purpose of the fort, but can they... Pa I've not seen anyone pass through this. It could be that his shirt got caught on something, like he was hanging there. And claim items in the dump and they'll get hauled back to... Ah, oh, maybe we could do, like, a dump. Uh, this is bad, though, because the chief medical dwarf is now, like... Uh, well, he's almost dead. But, I mean, he wasn't really very good at medicine to begin with. Dylan Pickles, I, 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 and Tasty uh, Wagyu. Thank you very much for the prime. <sighs> I mean... Could we build, uh, like, rails of some type? For, for now, I've just used fortifications, because I really don't want to kill the misting. I think that the misting... Honestly, I'll take the death alongside the misting. Like, it's been worth it. I'm a utilitarian, you know? 
the question is, what should we do if um, the chief medical door... This is like who delivers the mailman's mail. Remember that? Uh, hang on a second. Z zone. Are they... Uh, somebody else is going to be the... I mean, we can... <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm hurt. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have somebody else be the diagnostician. He was only dabbling in it anyway. You know what? Just have this guy. You're the diagnostician. Yep. And that's the way it's going to be. Ability to grasp. Somewhat impaired. Somewhat impaired. Okay, so this wasn't such a bad fall. He, I mean, at least he took off that shirt. <laughs> Thank God that my shirt saved me from falling off of that building. Uh, if only that shirt hadn't been between me and the ground. Something might have happened. Oh my gosh. Wow. Th thank God I have this rabbit's foot in my uh, shoe so that it could have protected my real foot from the fall. Wow. Very exciting. More migrant, more people are like, hey, that seems like a great place to live. So that's why I am unfazed by these horrible, horrible things that seem to keep happening to us. The one thing that is confusing, though, legitimately confusing, is that it says that they're fighting when they're clearly just being stupid. Endoc is dead. Are they able to get to that corpse, though? I don't know why I said it like, like it might be something voluptuous for them. Are they able to get to that corpse? Hmm. No, nah, we'll just leave that. All right. Sorry. See ya. If you start haunting us we'll admit, and we can't get to your body, then we'll worry about you later. Phew. Um, let's go back above ground. Such good things were happening above ground before everyone fell down that well. So what are you doing over here? Ah, uh, they're starting to gather all of the fruit. There was quite a lot of work to be done over there, to be fair. I'm also thinking that we should probably get um, more of these trees chopped and just more of that designation done. So let's go ahead into L. Uh, simple tasks for now. Let's just down some trees. Uh, actually, maybe not over here. Well, they will regrow, so that's fine. It's so amazing the way that the environment kind of like keeps growing and changing in this game. I do love it. I swear, like one thing I, I will say is that I, I've I've grown to love nature more now that I've created uh, so many so many YouTube videos. I find I just spend so much time in front of a computer that uh, I don't know. I'm just going out for walks all the time, not to sound like extra, you know, earthy, crunchy, and like granola to you as as a hippie but you know maybe that's just the way it is maybe that's just the way it is okay so what we want to do here is create a good flow i had said this from the very beginning of the stream so let's actually make sure we do it we don't want all this water flowing because people are just taking a bath in the water uh we want like a good solid moat here so i'm going to just address this right now we're going to go to m u and I'm trying to decide how I want to do this without causing the entire thing to just burst forth at once. We could do corner flows and then get the main thing, but I also want to get the ones in the middle. But it doesn't really matter as much for this part. I'm just trying to decide how I want to do it right away. We could do a corner flow and then kind of work from there. But we do also have that tree in the way. Let's down that tree first. L... Can we raise the priority for that tree? Mm, that may just be for mining. Oh no, wait, L. Oh no, we can raise the priority for that tree. There we go. Mine that tr or mine that tree. Wow. <clears throat> mine the tree right now. Whatever that means. Um I and well, most dwarves haven't drowned, to be fair. The question has been posited how many dwarves have drowned making this project? Technically only one. Most of them just fell from a great height into water. So it looked like a drowning, but it was more just... Well, I mean, that would have made it more comfortable, you know, landing in water. The water gave them a great big hug. Yeah, well, we, what we would really say is that they failed to learn to swim. So that's... That's what I say. I think we can just do this. Let's also channel out here. We want more than a corner flow going, but we can always just kind of edge out from the sides. And, you know, we could build on a floor there, too. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, we could just build floors to these things. Although, somehow they just have such a great habit of throwing themselves into the river. 
it's like they really desire to drown. They might be able to travel one space, but don't get it twisted. These water tiles are very deadly if they get on top of them. I'm not talking about the ponds. I'm talking about the brooks. What did we just do? Animal caretaker has been taken by a fey mood. I genuinely don't know what a fey thing is, but I, isn't that like a wild mood? Like wilderness, like he's going to turn into a dryad or a, I don't know, some spirit of the wilderness or something. We've got this designated as a one. Still not really doing it though. Hmm. What are our laborers up to? No one else has died. This is inexcusable. Okay, all that you will do right now, you're a legendary miner. We might as well have you doing this all the time. Oh no, but you're a bookkeeper, so I won't have you do that all the time. I just did that, right? Specialized and we'll do only that. Okay, so yeah, you guys are pretty much our minor miners. So do that. Good. Now, miners will channel as well. So that's, that's why I put them there, if I didn't make that perfectly clear. Let's get a good corner flow going, and then as soon as they get that started, we'll have them do the next thing. But uh, truly, though, where is the other mining taking place? Fae are commonly elves. Yeah, it seems kind of odd for a dwarf to be fae. You know. Hmm. Hang on a second. Okay, well, we do have more mining going on down here. I suppose that's... Must be, like, kind of taking precedence or something. I mean, no, it's a four. It's a four. No, there's no other mining going on. Why ever not? Are they shoveling here? Fey mood claim workshop make artifact if miners will dodge. Oh, that's fair. Maybe have them get good at dodging. <laughs> like dodging the rushing water or magma, even worse. Well, I mean, if it comes to water, I mean magma, they will just die. It's been quite sad to watch how they interact with magma, especially vertical magma that's like not very viscous, you know, that's just flowing freely. Okay, we finally got our dwarves to do this. They were drinking and socializing and being merry. But well, we can't have any of that. And we did get a good corner flowing. I missed this, though, exactly at the moment when it happened because I was busy working in our bedrooms. But let's go ahead and just keep channeling these out. We could do them like this, one at a time. I guess they could kind of cross this diagonally. Th though, like, sometimes they are just so astronomically dumb in the way that they move that it's almost like they have a death wish. There we go. Okay, good. He's going there. We're slowly channeling out one at a time. You know, I just thought of another way to do this. If you wanted to automate all of these, call me crazy, but couldn't you do it like this? Two, three, four, five, six. Like if you had a long, awkward line of places that you had to channel out, I think I might be a genius. Look, it's a rainbow of truth. That is quite satisfying. Yeah, they should do these. I, I mean, I have a bad feeling about it too. But it looks good, doesn't it? And I don't have to build an awkward floor over to it, and they don't do anything weird. Uh, come on, it's got to work, guys. Of course, though, we did have them channeling that area out first, so they'll do that probably first. Let's try it over here too. Let's do the, ex the same experiment in multiple places in a very ill-advised way. Because what could possibly go wrong? Um, do that. Then do this one. Oh, well, you know what could go wrong is that two different people work on it at the same time. Eh, it's only two guys. That's a risk I'm willing to take. That's a risk I'm willing to take. But, you know, we want to get a good, like, flow. Flow. Let's get the flow going. Yep, like I said, he's going to move around that in probably the stupidest possible way. M, U. I like how the kind of like something bad is about to happen music is starting to play in the background. It would be a very elegant solution if that works. Okay, this. To me, this is like the truth. He's going to do all the ones first, and then he'll do all the twos. 
Oh, okay, yep, we had both of them designated at once. That's not too good. He's going over to the other side of the river, and then he's going to do that. It's interesting, though, to see how they do this, because you could kind of coordinate a big, like, construction project thus. And it wouldn't be so completely awful if you did it that way. Good, so he does that, that, good. All right, this is really the one I'm concerned about. I'm really trying to make a mistake here, because I want to see if it's mistake-proof. So one is doing this. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's down there. Yep. There he goes. Okay. There he goes. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Um, hate to see you go. How did you do that, though? You little dingus. Oh, my gosh. Now, why did you do that, though? I mean, he's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. At least I can show you the power of the stream, though, now. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Um, and now we do get the Mr. Blinking Light. Did he dig down... Oh, maybe it was because he dug down in the spot. But he shouldn't have isolated himself on that island, because I said to do the other one first. Now the other guy's cut off the exit, and now he's dead. Okay, so great. Uh, hate to see you go, but you know what? Did we at least solve the problem I was trying to solve? I don't even think we did. <laughs> um, oh, wait, did we? We may have. We may have. Your death will have been... Let's get that... Um, let's get that tombstone ready. What was your name again? I'm upset because he was a good miner. But it was worth it because I learned that that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> where are we at? Uh, what is your name? Stodier Udibnirel. Yeah, oh, it's too bad. I kind of liked him. Oh, well. A day that will live in infamy. All right, get ready. I mean, at least we get to celebrate his life now. Stodir Udibnir. It hasn't even been... Stodir? Hang on a second. Stodir? Oh, I guess he hasn't been dead long enough. All right, we'll wait until he comes back as a ghost and starts haunting us. That's always good fun. Well, the whole purpose of doing that... Oh, they haven't seen him dead yet. Ah, is that why? That's interesting. Oh, so the dwarves aren't even aware. That's only the second drowning. Only two, two episodes, two drownings. Come on, do the math. Uh, Kugel Blitz, thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that. Now, um, fun fact. Well, the humans are, I don't know why they're doing that. Let's just tell them, okay, everybody please stop like bathing in the stream because it is, <laughs> the waters are rising here now. Um, he's like, ooh, bath water. <laughs> Oh, we do have a brook over here, so they should be able to... Unless they just sink down into the river. I will say that it's somewhat, like, odd the way that they drown, because I was thinking he would go with the flow of the water before he drowned, but he just sort of sinks and then just dies. It's, it's awful. It's like he has an anchor strapped to his foot. Uh, everyone stop moving around over there. Like, don't go over here. Or over here, please, for that matter. Don't even go next to it. Yeah, they will do that. We've just got a bad history with the water now. There we go. Uh, don't even go next to the drawbridge. There we go. But you can go over there if for some reason you feel possessed to do so. Um, we'll do this. And maybe that. Good. Okay, so let's see if this thing actually fills in. This is what I wanted to test out. So water pressure, I don't really know how much is coming off the edge of this map, but hopefully that human will get out of there. Oh, we didn't even designate the in the water as the no traffic area. Well, this is interesting. There's like a slider here. Whoops, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Ooh, Willow Mini Forge. Cool. What's that? Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. All right, so get out of the water, please, sir. In the river, that wasn't your best idea. I, sh I shouldn't have just done it above the river. I should have done it in the river, too. Dang it. Here we are, good. Okay, stay out of the river. Uh, well, it's really a moat. Here we go. There's, who's... 
Oh no, another one. Okay, good. This is an actual fight. I thought more people were falling down the the river. There is a giant cave toad, and someone else is dead. Is it water buffalo? Uh, stoned arrow denial has been missing for a week. Uh, wait, who is dead here? Erdim Barndorb's dwarf blood. Oh no, why did he die? Did he fight the, uh... Wait a minute, who are you? Boundorb, wait, Boundorb, you are... We didn't get news of your death. Erdim Estebenenak. He must be... Hang on a second. This must have been the same one. Has he s teleported into a new identity or something like that? I'm confused. This is not the dwarf I expected to see here. Uh, why did... The yeah, certified toad moment. Would happen. The giant cave... Where is the giant cave toad? Has it? Is it making its way up the stairs? Hang on a second. Let's go to units, pets, livestock, others. Oh my god, that thing is huge! What the hell? It's making its way up the stairs! She is terrified while in conflict. She is afraid after experiencing trauma. Oh, she has trauma. Oh no, like maybe her... Maybe her father was never there. She's 31. She should go to therapy. This is unfortunate. Yeah, we do have an unsealed cavern. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's good fun. We have 52 pop, it's been growing. We have many more dwarves. What, you guys have t toads that big where you live? Look, I'm in Florida, and we don't even have toads that big. I have seen toads, though. They are noble. Let's kill her. Nauseous. She's so frightened. Yeah, let's kill her. Let's send the army after her. Okay, uh, everyone, kill. We'll see how this goes. Kill her. Now, we did fight off a leech demon. Uh, never mind if it's poisonous. Well, you know, let's just save first. Save as pre-toad fight. Because fifth. There we go. Um, fight. There it is. No, I don't want to hear a word about that. I don't want to hear a word about toads. I don't want to hear a word about poison or or whatever whatever have you come on guys we have so many fish wow we have 1075 fish we have so much food in this fort okay let's follow her and observe her death she is injured resists sickness wait a second she's terrified while in conflict give an axe dwarf hang on a second can we see? Are they above her? Hang on a second. What is it? That's part of someone. What is that? Smear of spite heated giant cave toad blood. It's so hard to get a, a real good angle on what's happening. It looks like our dwarves are above her shooting crossbow bolts down at her, but it's really hard to make out what's exactly what's going on. Is the is the toad dead? Okay, let's go find that giant cave. To Hang on a second. Where is the toad now? Where has it gone off to? Oh, no, it's dead. Never mind. We have slain the toad. Thank God we have a military. God bless the USA, you know. There we are. Otherwise, these giant toads would just be making their way into domestic territory. Peace was had once again at... Vzalalter. Is that the name of our fort? I still don't genuinely know. <clears throat> it's a village. It's a village. Takes a village to kill a toad, as they say. Oh, no, where is the toad? Where is the... We must see, we must see it now. We must see the toad. Man, it really was down there by many levels. Look, there it is. A pool of... Wait a second, why did I... There we go. Zag okay, there we go. This was Zaglav uh, is splattered with Spitehead's giant cave toad blood. Is splattered with yeah, and then we just get the exact same thing repeated again. Spattered. I stand corrected. I had said splattered. There we go. 
Um, does it say who killed the... Oh, they just took away the corpse. Well, we didn't want to see it. But does that show the, the killer with that? Is that wh how we see it? Time to skin it and make it into a giant toad cloak. Yeah, we could have, like, Jiraiya. You know, the pervy sage, as they say. Interrupted by a giant cave toad. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, we do need more logs. You know, we should really just go back up to the surface and can we set out an area to be designated as chop wood for that? We haven't really done that. Sand, dungeon, pen pasture. Um, strangely, no. We can gather fruit, but we can't really like continuously designate the chopping down of trees. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at how empty this whole part of the map is now. Wow. That's actually kind of sad. All right, well, then we'll designate more chopping down of trees over here. I speak for the trees. These trees want to die. There we go. Wow, look at how thorough they are with this. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and see if any of those dwarves were important for things, all the ones that just died. Nope. And what about laborers? Well, we did lose that one very key miner. That was an unfortunate loss. I I, I have to say, I, I do kind of regret that one. But, you know, I mean, here was the the beauty of his death. Um, you know, new life comes out of it. Like, um, well, uh, nothing really comes to mind. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, we did sort of get what we wanted. Um, sort of. Hmm. Okay, here was my thing. I wanted to make this waterfall. I wanted to make this a complete moat. So here it's safe, like on the north side of our fort, it's safe. On the east side, on the south side mostly. But when we get down to this, really the west side and the southwest corner, somebody could just kind of cross this and scale the wall. And I don't want that. I want a deep thing of water there. So we're going to do a few things here. First off, um, we're going to go to M and U. And we're just going to channel this out. And I really did not do this right. So we'll just do this square by square now. Um, well, we could do these two at once, I suppose. Famous last words. But yeah, there we go. Um, don't fall in. Good, you didn't fall in. And we'll do this one next. And then we're just going to slowly kind of make our way over here. Good. So far, you've been safe. Safe boy. Be a good boy now. There we go. Good. Okay, now I want this deep. Oh, wait, maybe I did that wrong. What, what I'm going to need to do next... Yeah, I'm going to need to narrow the passage of this water I'm starting to see. Oh, I have an artifact on the objects menu. That's amazing. We should go and check it. Oh, that's because we made that willow thing. Ooh. This is interesting. These are like the amazing heirlooms that they have. This is quite cool. I didn't really... I mean, I knew that... I didn't know that this was all in one, like, concise list somewhere like this. I, I think I knew that these things existed, but... That is quite cool. Hey, Halcyon Wolf. Thank you very much for the nice, nice raid. Hang on a second. Do appreciate that, Halcyon. Were you with Halcyon Frequency? If so, uh, pretty banger event. Thank you very much. Would, um, would an overhang on the left side potentially protect from climbers? Oh, I haven't even thought of overhangs yet. I just want to make the moat better for right now hang on a second actually actually well this is just kind of a puddle here just a coincidence of naming ah well thank you very much for the raid i hope you guys had a good stream hmm. ultra mode yeah well what i was thinking we might be able to do is b constructions um i wonder if we could do this be interesting like if we wanted um could we potentially put in 
a wall here water at this location so we pretty much can't build anything there with water there um that is rough because my idea was that we could have limited this to one or two squares and maybe i should have thought of this through oh the whole thing is that we learned how water works in the very first series and now we're trying to kind of use the intractable controls that we have over it <laughs> um to maybe <laughs> maybe make it do something else however once we've already got water in the spot it seems pretty hopeless to kind of redirect it block off at the river at this at the source then work yeah i don't really know how to block it off at the source um if we could like throw something in there to damn it it's i'll, I'll say this though that it's been an interesting experiment for me to just kind of do it and then mess up so like royally in many ways because i've learned way more about water um, yeah, that was what I had thought, like, we could put pumps here to divert the water for a little while so that this kind of dries up into a puddle and do it over here. Then we quickly build a wall, and then we get out of there when we've limited it, or we build floodgates. I could freeze in the winter. That's fair. That's fair. We might be able to build it then. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it kind of feels more like grappling with natural elements, just like, uh, I don't know, more even so than a video game. Just fascinating. It's a cool, cool uh, system. Frox Boy, thank you very much for the sub. But for right now, I, I think we'll leave that. We have most of the mode as I want it. It's a little bit available for bathing, but... Yeah. Anyway, verbal diarrhea now. Uh, ca uh, caravan. Okay, good. We've got a caravan arriving. That is quite nice. Uh, we should be able to trade. Do we still need our plump helmet seeds? Let's just go make sure that our food situation is good. We have tons of plump helmets now. Good. Or they're all being grown here. Whoops. Three. Here we go. We've got it set to F3. Pump helmet spawn. Uh, I mean, they shouldn't be... Yeah, there we go. That's plenty of food. Plenty of food and drink. Yeah, we won't be worrying about that for quite a while. Whew. Five pr pumps across the river to en entry to Sabbath. Well, uh, you know, right now, let's go ahead and... Maybe I will kind of get rid of this horrible mosaic and we'll just make it something a little bit nicer. I, I'm wondering how many blocks we have. Um, I do believe that we made an order for this, right? Yeah, make rock blocks. So we didn't really say what type, but we said if less than 500. Let's make this even higher. Let's say 1,000. Just because it seems to me that this is something we'll need a lot of. Um, and I, I think we will make this match, and let's just see what we have the most of. Blocks. 264 claystone blocks. I'm guessing that this is being displayed in the order of whatever we have most of. Claystone. Uh, actually, no. One would think it would be displayed that way. 124. Though that is quite a lot of claystone. Um... Not honestly sure what is going to be the best thing for us to do. I imagine that claystone is also a little bit higher to the or closer to the surface. Um, a, another thing that we could do would be where are they storing these things as well? I'm pretty sure we had blocks somewhere up there, right? Where where were we keeping our blocks? Should probably keep them higher up, closer to the surface too, for that matter. All right, let's go ahead and make a stockpile here. I mean, if we are going to be doing so much construction with blocks up here, we might as well stock them up here. So we'll do P, and we'll make another zone. Yeah, this will be like kind of a temporary building stockpile. We'll say that, and we'll just say all blocks. Um, but we'll set it custom. We don't really want metal bars here. Whoops. Um, no metal bars. No other metal bars. Uh, just not even metal blocks and we don't need that either wood block wood block i guess we could use wood blocks to be fair uh stone or clay blocks it's just amazing to me how you can use practically any material for anything in this game and they're doing a lot of this uh, uh hang on a second we may want to trade we may want to actually trade well, let's request the broker because the broker is going to get to the depot and we may be able to trade a little bit here Although I think most of what we have to trade that we'd want to is just our blocks, which are heavy. Ew. Skylar Plant, thank you very much for the sub. Brando, thank you for coming out. Hmm. Where is our broker? Datan, old, uh, hang on a second. Datan, where are you? Trade at Trade Depot. 
Okay, there he is. He's finally got there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what these people have. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, they do have the bars that we requested. That is very nice. Okay, how expensive are these? Are we going to be able to get any of them even? Hmm. Let's go ahead and see what we want to offer for trade. Okay, so I did a little bit of this off screen, but it is quite useful. Uh, what do we have that is not so heavy and might be considered somewhat valuable to them? All of the cabinets and stuff like that are good, but they seem heavy. Like, I wouldn't give them a giant limestone coffin. It's too bad that it doesn't display weight there, too. What is valuable? I guess we could do gems or something like that. Jewels, gems. Hatch covers, logs, meat. Mechanisms. Mechanisms seem somewhat valuable. Though those also could be very uh, heavy. Tools, toys. Uh, that, oh, we don't really want to sell our artifacts, I suppose. Sabat Kwa. Thank you very much for the prime. And Gato Con Sombrero. Which means a cat. Cat with a hat, right? Hmm. If they have access to wheelbarrows, they can... Um, I'm not really worried about our people. I'm worried more about the traders being able to haul it away. But true, true. Barrels with food. That could be fair, yeah. Um, yes, yes, yes. That would be a very good idea because we have way too much food right now. Good thinking, good thinking. Um, prepared food barrel. Let's do that. Prepared food is quite valuable. And then we should be able to get lots and lots of stuff for that. Uh, we also have tons and tons of fish. So I don't think we need this either. Good thinking, good thinking. Wait, did something say 200 up there? And I'm at? No, it was 20. My bad. Never mind. Ooh, 510 for another prepared food barrel. That's good. Yeah, these meals seem to sell for, ooh, 800. I mean, this is probably a lot of our good food, but, you know, we could self-sabotage slightly. Uh, how do I confirm? Sort by value? Oh, that's very nice to sort by value. Oh, but then it just does it for each. Well, at least it's still some way of seeing. It's like a very Microsoft way of doing things. Put the meat in there, too. Yeah, just all the very... Well, we don't want to sell all of it away, I suppose. That's that's plenty. That's a lot of money. That's good. Distance from the depot. These are good ways of sorting, too. Put goods that we are willing to trade there. Okay, did that confirm everything? Uh, Let's see. Barrels... Yeah, that did. Okay, so those things should be moved into the depot. My god, there's so much movement. It's it's wonderful. Um, I believe we still just want... I had requested iron bars because I think it should be useful for us. Like, we still aren't very good with smelting, so yeah, it might as well get that. We'll request more. Mm, rings and fish. Okay, good. We have plenty of fish. I mean, I just kind of did it in order of value. Uh, all of our animals are starving to death. Well, it's stuff that comes inside. I don't really know why these things come inside. Oh, they're stray. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Those still belong to us. My bad. Never mind. Uh, it is a very odd way that it's, like, designated in this game. Hang on a second. Might need to make that bridge three wide. Let's just get the trading done anyway. Okay, so we've got this. Let's make sure we get in some type of trading. What if we tell you we're going to sell you everything? So excess weight, 187. I don't really know what that unit is, so I'm just going to call it runes. Um, this is only 46, but prepared food barrel. That's pretty lightweight and valuable. Hey, Aogrim, thanks very much for coming out. What is my cult totem? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shell figurines. That could be good. What, like the yayo of, uh, or flake of this game? Yeah, there's probably better money-making strategies that we haven't really done. Let's just go ahead and do plant barrel. I think they said they wanted, didn't they say they wanted fish? But maybe that's for the next one. And then we'll take, like, all of their iron bars. Iron bars. Steel bars. Trader profit. Hmm... Iron bars. I do like the text, greetings from the mountain homes. Your efforts are legend there. God, this guy is like such a child. You are legend. I know I am legend. Electum bars. Cut clear diamonds. Wow. Steel bars. I think we'll just do everything out of pig. I had to ask for some pig iron before, like I needed it. 
Mm, trader profit 333 value 1772 wait a minute are, are we even steven here no we're not really even steven marvel man you carried all these marble blocks jeez flasks Ooh, that looks interesting thos what is a thos what are those? <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, a dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, okay, I'm getting a little bit carried away here. If only there were a better way of sorting this. I think I'm just going to take the bars. I don't really want to be on the screen forever, and I don't truly know what else we need. Lead sounds like fun as well. Trade. I can't fathom en uh, you ending up with the items you do. Wait a second. Uh, he still has the allowed weight. Wait a second. What have I done? Is it when it's green? Hmm. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, well, we did it. Okay, take a fish barrel as a gift. I will see that our leader gets this offering. Good. Okay, good, good, good. We may have an ally. Actually, we don't need any of this. Just take it all. Uh, no, we can't. Never mind. Goodbye. Leave. Profit must be green. Yeah, it's a little bit like, who is the, I guess the trade, oh, he needs to make a profit in order to come back. Is that what it is? Like, oh, I have made my way all the way out here. I must get a profit if blah, 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 you know, like that kind of thing. Ah, I now see why Almondwood bin. Okay, so that's just a bin. Are they storing the blocks in the bins? This may be why I don't just have blocks lying all over the place. Okay, that makes sense to me because all of the blocks were... Suddenly they were all gone. Hmm. Uh, the one thing we should probably do is have the trader, uh, trader Depot inside of our gates, like somewhere safer. We could extend this out to three wide. I may end up doing that. But in the meantime, let's make this less of a random mosaic, I had told myself. So let's do... um. I believe it could be under M and then M and then is it X to delete some of these constructions. Yeah, there we go. So go ahead and remove these, all the flooring. We're going to do this How right because it really it doesn't look very good. World. I like Dwarf Fortress, but I would say it takes five to ten times longer to learn to do stuff. And granted that there's a lot of things in RimWorld that I still learn from time to time. Um, you can definitely do more, but it takes a lot more patience. And I, I, I do wonder if I'd have the amount of patience to do it if I weren't, like, making it as content. Like, sometimes I do, and this is part of the reason I made a whole channel in general, mind you, is that I sometimes find it, like, Dwarf Fortress is a game that is very intrinsically satisfying, um, but it doesn't have, like, all these kind of achievements and things like that. But that's just kind of true of all of the games on my channel. But especially so with Dwarf Fortress. So, I don't know, like, what kind of motivates you? It, I do kind of have to work up the courage to play it, I suppose. But also, too, like, you know, um, I have the irrational fear of making a mistake and then everything going horribly awry. Like, accidentally putting a hole in the ceiling and then water all coming through. You know, I hope that answers it. What about you, Cole? Also, thank you very much for the 23 months, Cobalt. I do appreciate that. As well as Cool Clark, as opposed to Uncool Clark, who sometimes comes around here. Um, thank you very much for the sub. I do appreciate that. The seven months. And Boopsy, thank you very much for coming out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we actually have here. So if we go to B, and then was it under construct? Uh, yes, I believe it was floors, right? And then we'll just do whatever we have the most of. So what if we were to say, how many of these squares are we going to need this for? Yeah, we'll keep this island about this size. I know it's not perfectly square, but whatever. If that bothers you, then get out of here. Oh, we have to remove the construction. What else is the construction there? Hmm, what do we have the most of? Limestone seems very nice to be able to build up. Doesn't limestone seem like a, a, the ideal material? Let's do it out of limestone. And they call it a lime. A lime! <laughs> no, whoops. No, I don't, don't mind that. Never mind. Well, don't ever mind. I mean mine. 
<sighs> Why did that have to be a pun? Wait a second. What is going on? I hear celebration or death. I can't tell. Oh, they're sparring. Wait a second. Who is fighting? Oh, wait. There's a giant mole down here. Hang on a second. We got to go to units. Giant mole. It's still around. Oh, my God. It's making its way up into the fort. I knew it would be exciting to keep the <laughs> floor open. <laughs> okay, we have to we have to take him out too. It's not an option to just leave him alive. This is why we've been training for all these months. Kill him. Kill him. It looks like the goat is going after him. There go his guts. Did you see that? That was disgusting. We, I mean, we should seal it, but it, it is combat experience, and it is probably one of the most exciting things that's happened in this entire playthrough. I do like it when just random people come up from the ground. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, it, it, it is quite funny. Mm, there we go. All right, limestone blocks. Here we go. All. It'd be nice if... It didn't intersect a single construction. It didn't require me to, like, reorder the entire project. Yeah, building present. Like, what building? It could be that it's objecting to it because of the drawbridge. Let's also just order the creation of more limestone blocks in particular. Um, limestone. I guess we can't do that. Blocks. How do we do? Okay, here we go. I guess it doesn't allow. Uh, limestone, limestone, limestone. This one is alphabetized. I guess we don't have access to any more limestone down here. So let's go ahead and see what level we were finding all that limestone on. I guess it would just be... Yeah, here we go. Limestone was... All that is up here. So, good. Limestone is a good hard stone. Yeah, here we go. So we'll just start to carve out the next layer of this stuff to hopefully get more limestone chunks. Um, and won't that be nice? Three, four, five, six. I think we were doing these about six wide, each of these kind of like radiating circles. Yeah, there it is. Good. Good, very good. Caravan has arrived. We already took care of that cavern. Somebody died. Everybody's starved. Why are all the animals starving? This is actually getting somewhat concerning. Though it's like the stupid animals, so. Yeah. The smart animals are eating. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Lost those ones. Hmm. Ah, it's all the same color and it doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, but now there's all of this crap lying around. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, maybe it could be the... Ah, yes, it's probably the waves of people with the animals needed to be put into the pen. So let's go ahead and do that. That's fair. That's fair. CP, here we go. Um, ah, that's what's happening here. It's too bad that we can't just auto-assign them to the areas. Like, whenever they come in, do sim... Wait a second, why do we... Oh, they've started to name the animals. Oh no, that can't be good. Then lead them up. There's far too much work for 50... Well, it is a good amount of work for 53 people now, I suppose. B, constructions, floor. Here we go. Whoops. Ah, yeah, the building was present in the way there. 83 limestone blocks. There we go. 83 out of 110. So then that means we have, what, 27 left. That's pretty good. Maybe then we'll make the wall all of the same material. And then this won't look like such a dumpster fire after that. <laughs> we also have a wood bridge. I can't imagine, but I am... Well, I can imagine. <laughs> I don't think that'll end well. But, um, yeah, let's go. B, constructions, floor... Floor, limestone blocks, all. There we go. Should be about 27-ish. Whatever we had left. Oh, no, they didn't designate that other spot. Uh, B, constructions. Floor. It's a little bit picky here. Like, I, I, I do think of how easy it is to place floor in a game like RimWorld. And then I'm like, can, can you throw us a bone here? That would be nice. All select... Amount need to, oh, we need 70. Oh, so then it 
takes me out of the entire menu because I accidentally designate an area. Well, then we'll just wait until we get more limestone out of there. That's fine. Is that all limestone blocks? Uh, there's just limestone blocks coming out the ears everywhere. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just keep working. Just keep working at it. Just keep mining. Just keep mining. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. Okay, but in the meantime, though, we should probably have more picks because we clearly have enough dwarves that we could do this. Let's go ahead over to weapons. Pick. Okay, so we do have a lot of pick. Are they all underwater? Um, one of them is. <laughs> pick. Here we go. I'm pretty sure a few more of them are. No, one is in your hand. I would like to still have that menu open, though. What about the third iron pick or copper pick? Okay, one of them is at the trade depot. It's kind of unclear whether I guess that doesn't belong to us, though. Pick. Keep searching this, okay. And then one of them is just over there. Maybe it's with the traders. Oh, I guess I could have traded them. We could, well, let's just learn to fabricate our own. Let's go over here. I'm pretty sure that we had some picks, right? Yeah, iron pick, forge iron pick. Well, we had some of those getting ready. Hmm, stocks, pick, one more time. Okay, the iron picks, though. We have bismuth bronze. Yeah, somebody's got that. Somebody's got that. Dakhost, you're doing that. Hmm. If less than one make ten. Go back down here. Forge iron pick. I mean, it is satisfied. Let's make that a little bit higher up. Maybe then they'll get more of it done. Maybe then they'll get it done faster, because I'm pretty sure that we have all the stuff that we need for that. Except uh, they do need the stuff to power all of the four, and I'm going to need to reorder these as well. This, I will say, is where I feel that, as though the UI genuinely... It would be nice if I had more than one screen on which to prioritize some of these work orders. It could be in the water, though, too. Yeah, I, I, that's what I want. I want them to just kind of be sitting around available, because, look, we do have these things. We have a four... Or what is it? Wood furnace. Let's just go ahead and manually order these things so that they don't need to get, like, validated and stuff. I mean, we have charcoal. We have tons of that. Let's just go ahead and say, like, make a lot of it right now. Um, smelter. I mean, we do have iron bars, too. Um, is it the pick? Iron pick. Forge iron pick, yeah. Oh, did they just make one? There we go. That was super fast. I actually can't believe how fast that was. Hang on a second. Is somebody going to go over there and do it? Hmm. Maybe I'm out of my mind. Oh, a baby was born! Human mace... Oh, we had a human baby! Oh, a girl. Oh, it... It was a polar bear. Uh, wait till the dad finds out. Oh no, this is gonna get ugly. Hm, wait, why is there... Who's fighting the child? No, no, sorry. No one is fighting the child. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, something is going down. People are fighting. Uh, it always shows me, like, the remains of the combat. Wait a second. This is what just happened. So much has transpired and just... What is that? Can't be good. Gorlak. Okay, we have to kill him. He has bad-looking evil teeth. Hang on a moment. Kill him. I don't know what that is. Gorla Wait, are Gorlaks are good? Okay, cancel. Never mind. Thank you for advising me to not kill the Gorlak. They look bad. How is that good? He's fighting a pig. Pigs are generally... I mean, have you ever seen the movie Babe? Where, you know, the pig is good and it, it becomes a sheepdog? No! The pig killed the Gorlak. They live in caves. Well, whatever. Well, he didn't really matter anyway. He just mattered to us for about the last three seconds. My god, a lot has transpired here. There's been a whole story of this fortnight. At least people have stopped falling into the waterfall. We did that, right? We have a dining room. <laughs> we do. We have a dining room. Let's go ahead and check on our stocks again. 
Well, they do seem to be getting more picks, anyway. Let's just designate a few more people for mining now. We do want that labor taking place. Um, okay, some of you can also do this. Uh, do we have any more miners? We should have some miners in here. I believe one of them was a miner, so it's going to be in gray. Stone carver. Stone carver sounds awfully similar. So, yeah, you know what? Why don't you go ahead? You can mine as well. You know, our weaponsmith, that's only one step away from being a miner, of course. Armor, uh, we, maybe we could have the child be a miner, because the child is already a miner. <laughs> Get it? Oh my gosh. Um, lie maker, tanner, herbalist. Yeah, we don't, aren't doing any tanning, really. Mine. Mine. What were we trying to mine again? I can't even remember. Oh, the, the, I think the good news to me is that this game is getting a lot more, like, natural. I'm just feeling faster with stuff. I know we're still making some mistakes here and there, but, yeah, like, it is what it is. Man, I didn't even have to think about those hotkeys. For me, I knew that this would be the first hundred hours with Dwarf Fortress, though, you know? Like, um, okay, let's also go ahead and... And also a lot of things, like, I didn't remember to designate those bedrooms, but it's just becoming kind of more automatic to me. I'm, I've, to be fair, I've made a lot of obvious mistakes, but hopefully they'll get less egregious as we go on. Um, here we go. Smooth that, because why not, you know? Um, we have so many people. So much help around here. Oh, yes, the, the limestone for the floor. That was what we wanted to do. So we wanted to go up and make sure that we were mining. And, okay, good, they are mining out most of that limestone. So we are getting more chunks of limestone here. Um, and hopefully they'll be making that into something at the... You know, we might need another stone workers uh, workshop. Stonemason's workshop. Uh, didn't it used to be stonemason's workshop? Or am I just thinking things? We'll make another one because we have enough work to go around there. I mean, look at all that we've got going on in our carpenter's workshop. That was a good move right there, wasn't it? Um, erratic. Oh, good. Now we're having hunters come in. The cat was fighting. Never mind, I think we missed all of that. More migrants. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now... Good. Well, uh, actually, the first thing that comes to mind is we're going to need to put those animals to pasture. Whatever they brought. Yeah, good. Okay, there we are. Um, This is looking good. Uh, let's go back to our list of things that we wanted to do from the very beginning of the stream. I'm just going to keep doing this periodically because... I find that in Dwarf Fortress, I just tend to get, like, I get started, and then I my head goes a million different ways still learning this game. Um, B, just after I do this one thing. Here we go. Oh, no, don't use close, jeez. Uh, Cancel, cons oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, C, whoops, no. X. I was thinking in RimWorld controls. It's going to be so difficult to play RimWorld after this. Wait a second. No. Good. Okay. There is a fast way to do that. Why is there another? Okay, good. More eradication of monsters. Yes, I will approve all of those. Um, yeah, it's funny to me that the stop construction tool is in the mining menu. You know, I was trying to press X because that was here. Remove mining wood. That's... Or, uh, a million things. A million things. Okay, let's see if we can get one more bit, and then we'll kind of go back over our summary. Uh, select material after placement. Let's go here-ish. Okay, good. 87 blocks, so that leaves us with 17 that are unaccounted for, uh, or that are just extra. So let's kind of look into everything. I wanted to get rid of the horrible-looking floor, something deep in my soul wanted to do that. We did mostly fix the flooding uh, it'll be interesting to kind of keep examining that. We did a little bit more with the designations of uh, um, channeling and learning not to drown as often. Um, what else happened? Make sure, making sure that not everyone is dying by falling down the waterfall. Several of these things seem blatantly obvious, but you know, the number of deaths from falling down the waterfall seems to have lowered it, with the number of dwarves around rising. So I can only think that we must have done a good job. Uh, oh, look, someone is going to the guild hall to just stand there. Hey, they are using that. I was worried that they weren't. Let's go smooth boy that out. We did create a guild hall. We created a couple more specialized zones. Not really too many, because a lot of it feels like 
we were managing workflows. Um, we did get our zones and offices and stuff like that up and running though. Did we get these bedrooms? We got a couple more items for each bedroom. Let's finish those off. Uh, we started making some actual tools too. It seems like we were making headway into making our own picks. I never really got final confirmation if they got those done. Yeah, that was a little funny to me. Uh, the, the whole thing of... Okay, here we go. Yeah, one order just got added in there for a second. Did you see that? Like momentarily. Somebody's got to be doing it. Let's go back into our stocks. I just want to really confirm that that's happening. That's uh, funny. We've got so many iron bars here, but uh, they haven't made more iron picks, which is why I still feel like I'm doing something wrong. Because if we go over to bars... Oh, no, I've got only two. Where are they all going to? My job cancellations? It could be under job cancellations. Fair. Hmm. We could go into our task list here. Uh, tasks. Detailing floor... No, that wasn't really what I was looking for. If an item shows up in the queue and then disappears, the task doesn't have all the required items to be started. Oh, so then what do we need in addition to an iron... Or how can we find what we need? Because I think it was allowing me to. Gotta mine some up. Hmm, could be, could be. I mean, we had two iron bars. Shouldn't that be enough to make one iron pick? Iron pick. So where can we get the details on exactly what we need? You know, come to think of it, I don't really think I've seen the ingredients of what's required for these things. Is there a way to look that up? Because we have repeating indefinitely, we have high priority, we have suspended, and we have cancellation. But it doesn't really tell us. Yeah, You don't. You have to guess. So you have to go to the wiki. Okay. I'm going to just do that really quickly over the side. Dorfris iron pick ingredients. A little bit... Mm, well, I don't know. Maybe that's a game design thing. Production, alloys, iron... Oh, Jesus Christ. So much information here. Uh, four iron bars. Okay, so we'll actually have to do our own smelting. Maybe we should make the gold smelting then for next time. Just because I feel like I've had this kind of aversion to using metal. We do have some guild halls. We have some fuel. We're good on some of that stuff. I mean, we've got the charcoal getting made. Adamantine strands. Where, what about copper, though? Or what is it? Iron. Yeah, we don't have the option at regular iron bars. We have pig iron bars. Steel requires iron. Eh. How do we make iron bars, then? We're going to have to go deep into this, and we're probably going to have to go deeper into the into the earth after this. Smelt coal if we had, uh, uh... Yeah, ultimately we'll go more into that, although I feel now as though... Hey, here's my thing is, I, I know I'm, I'm basically an idiot with regard to a lot of the metal and smelting, but I, I do want to get more into that the next time. I, I feel like it's too much for today, because we've been here for about three hours, and I feel like I'm hitting my saturation point, but... Um, mainly I want to do landscaping. A little bit I regret not having our military better trained, but it seems as though the threats aren't as present as I thought they would be. I thought we'd be getting invasions. Like, we'd been invaded by zombies in the past. Uh, I haven't seen it. Like, it's... I set all the world settings at normal, so I was expecting more invasion, but... No, I mean, at least we have a lot of time to prepare, but... There we are. Yeah, mostly just muddling along. Like, I was hoping I would be a little bit further along for this series, but, uh, honestly, it's probably gonna be... I would give myself about another hundred hours before I really, really can go off independently. A lot of it is still kind of, like, correcting mistakes, but I'll try to edit out most of that from these. Anyway, that is all to say, uh, this has been a, uh, an amazing stream, and I, I am grateful that I have a, a such a, a giving chat that is, is very, um charitable with with helping me out with the game as I continue to learn and I'm also glad that actually a lot of people seem to know the game more now since people have had more time to sit down with it um but I think we'll kind of call it a day there for today let me go ahead and save before I make any massive mistake we'll call that the end of episode two